Hello. Welcome to once again to the Night Post uh, video service uh, titled How to Gain a Competitive Edge on the Global Market Using Your SAP ERB Material Ledger and Actual Costing Functionalities. In this video, uh, we will continue capturing some of the day to day business transactions companies engage in uh, that are uh, using SAP to capture all the data necessary for management to perform cost accounting controls for the company. Uh, today we're going to um, use uh, subcontracting. Uh, in SAP, there are two kinds of subcontracting as we explained in uh, some of the previous uh, videos. Uh, the one we're going to use is a full subcontract that is uh, that uh, uh, we want uh, another company to manufacture a summer finished product, uh, a summer finished product or a product uh, for us, and we provide a component for that. And this is done in SAP RP through uh, purchasing service, even though it is a manufacturing uh, process that is done with, uh, through, through the purchasing services so I'm going to go ahead and start this with uh, ME21N and, um, and then I will explain this the vendor I want to use today is uh, called uh, US Ghana Purchasing organization is uh, our purchasing organization for the company code in the same and the purchasing group is called for. And uh, we're going to under speak into this and in this uh, to specifically uh, denote this uh, purchase order as a uh, in order to manufacture product from the subcontractor we have to put L here and the, money. <coughs> the product we want to manufacture is a root uh, we want uh, three in quantity the delivery date let's put today uh, and uh, the plant is this plant the location is the storage location and we have to get the processing information record for this vendor and this material <coughs> now uh, in the Purchase information record we have uh, zero types and in this case because this is a, a subcontracting uh, uh, purchase order uh, it has a category three and this is one of it for this vendor so I'll click this and for the future. Now the pricing and some other information are automatically uh, copied and uh, um, populate this uh, this purchase order. Now it says uh, can delivery be met well, realistically? Yes, in my case. And so since everything is done. <coughs> See the delivery here. Uh, I think that I need to add to this subcontracting. We go and see uh, the special subcontract. Instead of normal stuff, I want to put the subcontracting from order on the head. Uh, let 
Yeah, it needs very very granola stock. And then let's see the component. Okay. These are the component that uh, constitute the you know uh, to manufacture our food. We need a black engine for and shaft for and we need three because we are doing three, three black engines and six shaft so what does what this means is that for every filter that we create uh, we need one black engine and two shaft so for the order of three root engine uh, we need three black engine and six shaft This is fine, and that what I would like to add here is to say that uh, this quantity is fixed, which means it cannot be modified. That's what we need. Hit enter, take this, and go back. And this is all. The bomb explosion is what we just saw. If we are going to change the uh, Add uh, another kind of uh, material. Uh, this bond, uh, this uh, yellow material will be different. Therefore, we have to do another uh, new bond exposure. That's what they say new. Uh, so, but that's not our case here. So, I think uh, everything is in order to go. Therefore, we can post and get our. Uh, Posting number, which is forty five zero 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 one seven five nine six. For now, this is what it done. The next thing we need to do is to trace this product, uh, the component from our warehouse or our inventory to subcontractor. Okay, and to do that, we use uh, Tonga Shield any two pool okay, to follow what is happening. So this is the vendor and the component are uh, the uh, block engine and shaft and the assembly. What we're trying to buy here is a root engine. And we go ahead and see how we follow this. Now, this is what we got. This yellow tells us that uh, uh, this is a new uh, product to be. Okay. And we can check the availability of this uh, product. Each. So this is what we're going to send. I can post it right away. Instead, uh, what I would like to do is to check to see if I can check uh, the availability of this product. And to do so, I'm going to let's say stop over here. And then stop over here. As you can see, for block engine, I think we have more than necessary. Okay, and let me go to shaft and check for shaft if we have uh, enough uh, to, to set to this uh, subcontractor. Yes, we do have enough. And so therefore we go back. Now uh, we can uh, uh, post. is zero one the quantity is the two that we have the block engine and the quantity of this is six this is how everything is found mm -hmm. and uh, we get out of this 
um, I'll stop uh, at this point. Uh, and uh, what I'll do next is uh, to show how this uh, product are moved out or removed from the inventory uh, because we have uh, a warehouse uh, management uh, with, uh, uh, with this uh, storage location. So therefore we need to do a transfer order and then confirm it before everything can, uh, can be completely well. So this is it. And I'll go ahead now and uh, stop this recording for now.